we are making a quick and simple applesauce recipe. But what I really want you to learn is how to infuse love into this recipe and all recipes when you're in the kitchen. I'm the love chef and feeding the body and soul is very important to me and I'm going to show you how to do just that. So the universe is made up of energy and as we know energy transfers. So the energy we have when we go shopping for food, when we are preparing it and cooking all the different components of a dish will then transfer into the food we prepare and then transfer to the people who are eating it. So it's very important that we're putting good loving energy into our food so that we can feel our best. So we're going to start with some simple ingredients. All you need is our apples and water. I have Cortland apples here. Now I source my ingredients from practices that I support. So these are local and organic apples. And I try to do this whenever possible because it is better for my body without the toxins and any extra chemicals that are unnecessary, as well as it makes me feel good knowing that I'm supporting something that is important to me and that affects my energy. So when I start creating a meal, I set the intention of making something delicious. Now this may be for a five star three course meal, or it may be for heating up a veggie burger. It really doesn't matter. It's just about setting the intention that what you're doing is going to be nourishment for yourself and it's going to make you feel, feel good and you're going to enjoy eating it. So there you go, that will be delicious. So what I'm doing here is I'm slicing these, quartering these apples, and then I am removing the core. Okay, so I have an apple that I've removed the seeds from, and now you can dice them. I'm leaving the skin on. You can leave the skin on, or you can remove the skin. It's really up to you. If you're going to end up pureeing the apple, then the skin makes it a beautiful red once it's pureed, and I, particularly like chunky applesauce, but, and I will keep the, the skin on still. If you do want to do that, a chunky applesauce with the skin on, you may, it may be beneficial to do a smaller dice versus a larger so that the skin pieces are smaller, but really it's whatever tickles your fancy. So while I'm creating this dish, I want to keep my thoughts in a positive loving place. So what you can do to do this, and this is something that I include in my cookbook, Satisfying Salads, Healthy Helpings for the Soul, is I say an affirmation. Now this can be done in your head or this can be done out loud, and you can say it once or you can say it multiple times. So an affirmation is simply a positive statement. So it can be, I infuse my life with love and healthy cuisine, or the food I create is delicious. I am nourishing my body and soul. These are all positive statements, and you can choose one or multiple throughout your cooking to either concentrate on or continually continue to think. So I've added my apples. You want about six cups to a pot, and I've put two thirds of water on the bottom of the pot. If you have a larger pot, you're going to need a little bit more water. Basically, you want the bottom of the pot to be covered with water, so you don't need that much. And this liquid will help the apples not scorch from the fire or heat that's going to be applied underneath it. So that goes on the stove, and we're going to cook that for about eight minutes on medium heat, and it's going to be covered. And then once we're, once that's cooked, it's going to become this beautiful, it's almost pureed itself, and it has this like beautiful pink and yellows because I left the skin on it. And the pectin is what will thicken the water and almost turn it into a syrup. And you'll have this beautiful, beautiful applesauce. Now you get to season it with whatever seasonings you choose. You, I'm going to do a little bit of cinnamon. 
do it this all to your taste it's really depends on what you like you can do a little bit of vanilla extract i like a pinch of sea salt or you could do a squeeze of lemon sea salt and lemon bring out flavors and then a little bit of drizzle of maple syrup if you'd like and that you will you should do to taste depending on how sweet your apples are you may not need it at all you could add a little bit of organic coconut oil or a little bit of grass-fed butter really the sky's the limit now at this point i make sure that i take a moment to recognize that how thankful i am that i've had the time and the opportunity and the resources to create this meal no matter how simple or complicated it may be then when i sit down to eat the meal that is when I have gratitude for all the nourishment it provides. It provides in the sense of the nutrients within the food and the nourishment of the love that I have infused into it. If you want, blow a kiss into your food. You can make uh, add as much love as you'd like. And I am so happy to share this with you and I hope you apply it in your life and in your kitchen so that you can be a love chef in your kitchen and out. To access this recipe, please text Love Chef to 44222. Happy cooking!